the next thing that I'm going to do, and this is actually one, I haven't talked about this before. It's something I've looked into. It's something that's old as dirt. It's not something that's openly been available for people like you and I to be able to do. Okay. So this is called gold leasing. This is not the same thing as borrowing against my gold. So I'm going to explain this in a second. So buying gold, not an investment, it's a store of value. It's either a store of value or a speculation, depending on how you're treating it. It should be treated as a store of value. I'm not trying to buy, buy low, sell high. I'm buying a real thing and hanging on to it, right? Now in the gold market, and this has been around as old as gold has been around, there's this concept of leasing where you know different companies, whether that be a jewelry store or a bullion um, dealer or a you know, anyone that distributes gold and silver to either a wholesaler or a consumer, similar to a car dealership, they have to get their inventory from somewhere. Okay. And so what they do is you have a business that needs gold and you have a investor or a holder, we'll call this a, a owner. So I don't want to intermix the term with investing. This person owns gold. Okay. So this person needs gold. This person owns gold. Okay. The owner of the gold is going to lease his physical gold to the person that needs it, to the business owner. Okay. And this is based on any other loan. It would be based on credit worthiness, revenue. Uh, there would be collateral. There would be insurances in place to mitigate the risk of this business owner not paying the gold back, right? This business owner is going to pay an interest rate just like any other, any other lease to the owner of the gold. So this guy, he now has the gold. He's able to fulfill his inventory or use it as collateral or whatever he might be doing with that gold. Okay. For that, he's going to pay an interest rate. That might be two or three or 4% interest. And it's usually a shorter term deal. You're looking at one year, two year, maybe three years. Okay. So you're usually going to be looking at about two to 4%. Right now, at the end of this, let's say it's a 24 month term. At the end of the 24 months, this business owner then has to return the gold back to the owner. And the owner takes physical possession of it again, okay? The beauty of this is that the gold still appreciates. So long-term, we're looking at with gold about 8 to 10% um, since the 1970s, since we're allowed to own it again. That's the average annual look at the return. So if I'm making this, plus I'm also earning an annual yield of 2 to 4% on it in a relatively low-risk play, right? Like if you didn't know, when you go to a dealership and buy a car, they don't own the vehicle. They do the same thing. They lease it. They lease it till they can sell it to you. They just service the interest payments. And then when they're done, they have to pay either the principal, the vehicle back, which they do once they sell it, they pay the money back. Or if they don't get the vehicle sold, it comes off the lot. They send it back to whoever they're leasing it from. Okay. If you're wondering what does Wealth Dynamics do, how can we actually help you? Number one, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, Blueprint to Financial Freedom, grab one now. You can get that down in the uh, comments in the video. You can get the link for that. Number two, we do a free course on Fridays on personal finance. Hey, you can also get the link for the description there too. And then finally, if you have a desire to start getting help walking through these different phases toward financial freedom, book a call with my team. Go to our website, set up a call. And we're able to help out and answer questions. That's how we can help you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you turn notifications on and I will talk to you guys on the next video.